Hello everyone, I'm musician first class Shauna Catandella, and I'm a clarinetist with the United States Navy Band in Washington, D.C. I've been playing the clarinet for 42 years, and I've been lucky enough to perform with the United States Navy Band for the past 19 years. And today, I'm going to help you get started on the clarinet. There are five topics I will go over with you, and the first one is putting the clarinet together. There are five pieces to put together, and we are going to start with the two middle joints. You can refer to them as the upper and lower. I think of it as starting from the inside and working your way out. Make sure you line these two brackets together. Now take the bell and put it on the lower middle joint. Then take the barrel and put it on top of the upper middle joint. Okay. You have one piece left, you're doing great. Take the mouthpiece and place it inside the barrel. You're done, great job. Let's move on to reeds. I recommend the lightest reed you can find. What I mean by that is, a reed that is not high in its number. The higher the number, the thicker and harder it will be to play. I recommend strength two to two and a half. Here's a tip. When you go to blow through the instrument, make sure you have immediate sound. That's a good indication that the reed will not fight you. Now, you need to make sure the reed is wet. You can wet it in your mouth or put it in a small container with water. Let's put the reed on. Make sure the top of the reed is equal to the top of the mouthpiece and is centered. If you put it too high, the reed may not play well. Okay. Now let's talk about ligatures. What is a ligature, you say? Well, it's a piece of equipment that holds the reed in place. There are two kinds, screws that are in the front and screws that are in the back. You most likely will have the ones in the front. Either way, the screws will be on the right side. Place the ligature on the mouthpiece and line the top of the ligature with the line on the mouthpiece, right here. If there is no line, then place it just below this part of the reed, here. Now you tighten the screws, moving your hand forward as such. Here's a tip. Don't turn them too much, just enough until you feel resistance. There, you did it. Take the mouthpiece and barrel off the horn. Try to do this while keeping the mouthpiece and barrel connected. Okay, let's move on to embouchure. You're almost done. Make your bottom lip flat Put the mouthpiece on. Don't put too much of the mouthpiece in your mouth, but enough to where it's comfortable. Then slightly roll your bottom lip over your teeth, like this. Your top teeth will be on the top of the mouthpiece. Firm up the corners of your mouth, like you're trying to blow on the top of an empty Coke bottle. Visualize firm corners with the rest of your lips in an O position. Great! Now, on to air and breathing. 
When taking a breath, don't do it with your shoulders. The breath should be lower and relaxed. Here's a tip. The next time you yawn, pay attention to the sound of the air and what your throat is doing. That is how you utilize your air when you play. I will demonstrate on my horn. Now on to tonguing. Blow air through your mouthpiece and barrel. Keep the air flowing. Do not stop the airflow. Now take the tip of your tongue and tap it on the tip of the reed. That is called tonguing. I will demonstrate. Great job, everyone. Let's put the barrel and the mouthpiece on the rest of the horn, and I'll help you learn how to hold it and maybe even play some notes. Now, let's play Mary Had a Little Lamb. When you're done playing your horn, always swab it out. I advise taking the mouthpiece and barrel off and swab them separately. Great job, everyone. I am so proud of all of you. Feel free to play any song you know on your horn. Play things you like and make it fun. Good luck to all of you, and thank you for letting me and the United States Navy Band be a part of your day. Stay safe.